One of my favorite races year in, year out is the E.P. Taylor Stakes. We go a mile and a quarter. It is Jeff Bratt and Lisa Blow as we look ahead to another one of our Grade 1 events. This is not part of the Breeders' Cup Challenge win and you are in. But this almost has the status of a Breeders' Cup race because there are so many Grade 1 or Group 1 winners. Mm. You have the Canadian rivalry between Moira and Fev Rover. You've got the three-year-old in Cinderella's dream. I don't even know where you want to start, but take it away. <laughs> well, here's the thing. It's the smallest field for stakes events today with just a field of six, but talk about a star-studded lineup. There are some superstars, including the Canadian queen of thoroughbred racing, and that's Moira. I think what's going to happen, Jeff, is that here she's back on her own home turf. There are so many people here that are going to be cheering for her. She's like the heart horse for all of us and we'd love to see her win the E.P. Taylor because it's eluded her but she comes in after a great win in the Beverly D and I think that she's going to get the surface that she wants because the turf course is going to be firm and that's what she's looking for now Fev Rover of course is the other local horse that we're going to be rooting for as well this is a Cassie runner John Velasquez is going to take over the riding duties with this one coming in off of a second place finish to Moira but if you remember in the Beverly D it was a great finish right to the end. Can she turn the tables on Moira back on their own turf course? You have the two Irish breads coming in as well. Blush, a horse coming in from France. No local works. You have Blue Rose Sen, another horse coming in from France. No local workouts. You got full count Felicia here for Kevin Attard, who was a really surprised winner, I thought, at least, of the uh, grade two Canadian, because there was a lot of talk there about who could possibly win that race as an upsetter, but she got it done as as the favorite and then Cinderella's dream like you mentioned she is a three-year-old taking on older runners she gets onto the Lasix program here but look at the human connections you got Charles Appleby you got Buick and you got Godolphin and whenever they come here to Woodbine they come here to win so maybe watch for her as well three-year-old taking on the older horses again a star-studded lineup for this year's EP Taylor and it does start off the pick six which has a mandatory payout on Woodbine mile day as well it's the seventh and a mile and a quarter on the E.P. Taylor Turf Course. It's the E.P. Taylor Stakes <laughs> right here at Woodbine.